Hey everybody, this is Larry. This is day five of the advent of code 2024. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's advent of code. Uh, we have about a minute 40 to go. Uh, yeah, I'm really excited. Hopefully getting on the uh, leaderboard today. Uh, I've been hoping for four days and it hasn't happened. Uh, uh, I don't know. I'm blaming on ChatGPT, but that's just an excuse. I probably could be better on a lot of these, so we'll see. Um, at least maybe get on one leaderboard day or something. I don't, so I do have some, uh, well, good news, but also sad news is that I may be traveling during the last week of Advent of Code. And as a result, um, the leaderboard dreams may be over. Like the final global leaderboard dreams may be over. Um, I was, um, I was like 35th two years ago or something like this. Uh, last year, I was, I was also traveling, so I didn't really do it. This year, I don't know. I mean, I've been here and I haven't been getting any points, so we'll see. But uh, but it would be nice to kind of get on the leaderboard for a day or two and then figure it out. Anyway, that's just my intro. There's still about 45 seconds to go. Um, yeah, if you're watching this in the future, I guess, I don't know why I keep saying that. If you're watching this, you're already in the future. So good luck. Or well, in that case, you probably don't need. I don't know. Anyway, good luck anyway is the dot that counts. And hope I have a little bit of good luck. I don't know. Talking to a future you is tricky. But yeah. Oh, let me. Uh, okay. Yeah. Back to my bash for obvious reason or my my terminal, uh, and then we'll see. So we have 15 seconds to go. Let's go. Let's hope we beat ChatGPT today. Uh, yeah. 10 seconds to go. Are we ready? I mean, uh, you don't get a choice. <laughs> you just gotta go. Alright, 3, 2, 1. Okay. A has to be before B, right? Maybe, I don't know if this is good enough. One seventy seven. How fast are people? I th I thought I was going pretty fast. Uh, I don't know what they're doing. Anymore.
I don't know. I mean, I could be faster, but I thought that was pretty fast, honestly. Um. Uh, this is a tougher one, though. If not good. Uh, uh. I don't know if I'm right on this one, actually. One forty-four. Yeah. People, I don't know. I don't. It's hard. For, I mean, I, uh, like it, it's easy for me to think that this is um, uh, chat chat GPT about, which is why I'm like so skeptical. Like it's not a hard chat GPT problem. That's why and I'm like kind of very sad about this. Uh, let me look at uh, the thing for a second because um, I, I don't know. Three minutes. I feel like was a very fast time, um, and uh, two minutes on part two, like. I don't know. <laughs> maybe, uh, alternatively, maybe I just need to admit that I'm getting old and it is what it is and I'm just not as fast as the young guns anymore. But I don't know, I thought three minutes were pretty fast. I thought like, I don't, I mean, I don't think I would have like won or anything, but I thought I had a good chance at like, you know, top 100 and today's not the day. Like 55 seconds for two days, I think we just kind of given up on not using ChatGPT. Like, I don't know. Uh, uh, eh. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, people just kind of stop trying. I think I don't know how many of these, but like, come on, is this like one of those like? Uh, is this one of those uh, fight fire with fire situations? One minute is really fast. What was the problem again? I actually, honestly, forgotten the problem. Oh, the the before after, eh. I, uh, I could see maybe I don't know that's the tough thing about this right is that like eh, I don't know and then the question is do these people have track record right like eh, I'm very sad today um, I don't even think I was that slow but and like because when you when you do competitive programming and all these things like you have a mental clock about I mean, with enough experience, you have a mental clock about how fast you are, how fast you expect the field to be, and just like, you know, like a mental clock going, right? And that's why, like, I did yesterday or the day before, I, I, I was like, okay, I need to rush a little bit, and I did, right? And I kind of made a mistake as a result, but, but that's the trade-off. But this one, I thought I was like, like maybe pushing a little bit hard, but going a little bit fast, but not too fast and deliberate, that I think usually it would put me in the top 100, but I don't know. I mean, this is these are cartoon times, right? How believable is this? Um, I don't know. But yeah, I mean, I would also say people have said that about me in the past, right? They're like, oh, Larry did it in 40 seconds or Larry did like a lead code easy in 20 seconds. Like he must be cheating. So I don't know. But then like, you know, when I, but then on the other hand, if I'm complaining, then I don't know, right? But uh, eh. <sighs> maybe this is the, uh, the year in which chat gpt has me defeated and i just stopped trying afterwards but yeah um okay sorry <laughs> me rambling aside uh, sorry i'm just still looking at the leaderboard and looking at the time what did i add um hmm. yeah uh let's go over the code real quick um i don't think there's anything that interesting about the code honestly so part one um it's just it's just about reading input which already is actually kind of 
annoying. And I do have um, pre-written code for it. I have something called get separated inputs. This is one type of um, advent of code input type, if you will, of just like what I call two blocks, which is separated by, um, if I could find it, by by a space, right? So I just have, I, I had pre-written code for this, which is also contributed to me being like, what the hey, 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 because like, you know, if I have pre-written code for this and it's still, you know, but in any case, um, I mean, it's not that hard to, you know, but, but yeah, uh, so I do A and B, I do before B adds A, right? And then I have a, a, what I call a good function. And then for each line, if it's good, just add the middle thing, right? Pretty straightforward, honestly, I, I hope, at least in terms of things, right? And the good function, you, you definitely could do something like we did in part two with sorting, but you don't really have to, right? Um, because, or at least not yet, because um, n is small. If n, if n is small, then you should just do an n squared type thing. And that's what I did. I just brute forced it, no need to think. And that's why I did it. And I was able to get this in, um, what was my time? Uh, about just less than three minutes, right? Um, so how would I clean this up? Well, how would I clean this up knowing that I know in part two would be to um, just sort, right? I mean, sort, and if you sort, then the input should decode to the output. And that's, you know, or, yeah, uh, there is some nuance in that because there's something called like a stable sort. Um, and yeah, and may, there are also things about like topological sorting. And so like there are different, diff, like, yeah, I think stable sorting is probably the biggest one that may be help, helpful. Um, honestly, even for, I mean, I assume... Even for part two, now thinking a little bit ahead, but um, like I guess it's not technically provable that like, you know, but I, I guess the input makes it so that there's only a unique way to sort it. Otherwise, then maybe the problem is a little bit undefined. Or you could say that, yeah. I mean, I think an other, the other thing that if you really want to keep track of, um, um, of uh, what you might call it, uh, the, the index, Right, then you could actually just put index as part of the sorting key and the sorting function. So that should be fine. Um, I'm not gonna rewrite, uh, I, 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 yeah, I'm not gonna rewrite this, but, uh, but I'll just add a comment, right? So here, maybe um, the ideal, ideal way to do this is to sort um, a, um, maybe a, a stable sort so that, uh, yeah, if two things are equal to each other, then they could, then you tie break by the current index. I think that's the way that I would think about it. And part two is just basically an extension of that idea. I add in a comparison thing. Even though I didn't really think about it. I, I just kind of, I knew that was one way or the other. That's why I printed the nums, um, which I could take out um, and just compare it to the example. But as a result, yeah, I mean, th this code is basically the same as part one. The only thing that changed is that I added the compare function for compare door. Um, I do have this thing pre, I don't know if it's pre win but pre reference because in Python, um, the, by default, sorting is by key based sorting. But and in order to do it, um, use comparison sort, then you do a comparison. I mean, and here, yeah, you don't really need the not good part anymore. You can have sorted before, but, you know, I mean, I'm not going to, uh, during the contest, or I call it a contest, but during the, the uh, south, I am optimizing for speed, and this, this is the speed of the south. So I'm not going to worry about doing an n square thing in the middle. Of course, you should and could optimize this as part of the up south, but uh, but yeah, and yeah, just making sure that all the relationships are, are held together, and that's pretty much it. So this code here is going to be all of n or not n, I suppose, all of l, where l is the number of lines in the box. Um, this is going to be all of n square. Uh, and this is n log n. It's obviously dominated by n square, but as I said, if you really try, you could upsolve that into n square, and that'll be l times n log n, right? And that's pretty much it. I mean, everything else is, you know, I think maybe straightforward. If not, let me know in the comments. Um, as I said, I do have certain libraries um, that I've written myself, um, um, like get separated input, and uh, the other one is just scan numbers, which is kind of honestly what it sounds like. But yeah. Um, move up slightly. Let me show part one and part. I guess actually, I'm showing part one and part two at the same time. I mean, a lot of it is copy and paste. Um, maybe I need a better. 
set up for both of them but it's fine anyway uh yeah that is all i have for this one that that is all i have for today yet another fail uh yeah thanks for watching stay good stay healthy to your mental health hope to see you tomorrow and take care bye bye